Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of my Southampton career mode. Perhaps the least viewed and uh, most experimental YouTube career mode for FIFA 19. But you know what? We're going to keep plugging away and we're going to keep experimenting because I am committed to this franchise or this career mode, excuse me. So it's going to be good. Uh, today we're going to try an experiment where we shorten up the videos a little bit more. The editing is still a bit of a work in progress. Uh, it's going to take a few episodes to get through that, but stick with uh, stick with me, stick with us, and uh, we're going to get there, ladies and gentlemen. So today we've got a couple of matches for you, and they're going to be relatively short clips. Uh, we've got Newcastle and uh, Southampton, obviously. I think this one is at St. James's Park. Yeah, we're gonna assume doesn't look like uh, doesn't look red in the background. So yeah, looks like St. James's Park and we've got the away kits. So there you go uh, You saw the lineup for Newcastle pretty standard except Callum Wilson looks like a new acquisition He's back in the lineup and we get to the ninth minute here quick shot from Danny Ings off the keeper Rebound goes to James Ward Prowse tries to head it in, but it's off the bar Nothing going well for Southampton so far early on and just after that New acquisition, Callum Wilson, and I'll have to check what he was transferred for. Comes in with a hard tackle on Vestigard and rightly gets a yellow card. Ooh, Ward-Prowse gets the ball back, tries to take a shot from outside. One, something he's known for, although more is free kicks, but uh, nothing happening there again. We move to the 42nd minute. Ryan Bertrand crosses it in, but it's taken care of by the Newcastle defender. Again, we've got Bertrand chasing back. Vestergaard trying to step in to block this ball. Great low cross there from maybe Manquillo, but uh, Almiron couldn't do anything there. I really like this Almiron fellow. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, he used to play for Atlanta United in the MLS. 86 minute, a great cross in again, and almost a beautiful goal there, although the angle might not have been suitable for it, but can't make anything happen another low cross this time from El Unesi to Austin and he is visibly and understandably disappointed not sure why he took that one on his left instead of tapping it into the right but it is what it is and this match ends nil nil so another exciting uh, exciting match for Southampton here I gotta be honest I'm struggling with these sliders guys I don't know if it's the misses I mean the uh, the shooting accuracy or what, but or or just the caliber of players. But I'm excited for season two to make a comparison because I'm gonna gonna make a few changes here. This, uh, yeah, gave the armband to Maya Yoshida because it's got to go to Yoshida or Bertrand to be quite honest. Those are the to me they're the two most senior guys. I know James Ward Prowse kind of came up the ranks, but uh, yeah, um, those two. So I mean I had 11 shots, but as you saw, a JWP shot was from way outside. You know, I don't know if the bar, the crossbar shot off uh, James Ward-Prowse's header counted as a shot on target, but, you know, that was no good. All the player ratings are garbage. Yoshida got man of the match playing right back. He's out of position and still getting man of the match. Should tell you everything you need to know about this squad, but it's getting better. We go and we develop our players here in a training session. Obafemi, Slattery, Valeri, trying to get bumped up, trying to put them to 70 and make them usable players. I've had to swap Valeri in and out of the lineup because at a 68 overall, he just isn't cutting it. Next match, we head to Bournemouth. No, we had to, we had to St. Mary's for a match against Bournemouth and uh, still stuck in 11th there, 44 points. We might be able to creep up to eight or ninth at best but um it doesn't look like we're going to be getting europa league barring some feat of good runs and a little bit of luck um with you know teams getting champions league teams winning the uh the cup so uh we start off in a 4-2-3-1 which i'm trying to use uh, a little bit more often it looks like bournemouth has added caleri to replace uh the lost callum wilson who went to newcastle a bit of a strange one there, as I, I think Bournemouth's more in the up and up than uh, the Newcastle, but it is what it is. This game a little bit more exciting, actually had some goals in it, uh, so that's good. We move to the 13th minute. Lamina takes a shot from distance 
and parried away there by the keeper whose name I do not know. Sorry, Bournemouth fans. Bournemouth trying to build something up from the midfield here. Kaleri, Josh King working well together. It's red by the defense. Valeri trying to keep up with, I think that's Josh King. Uh, Smith driving it down the left wing or the left flank there, going to cross it in, probably no. Passes it to King and a header right off the side. I don't even know how you describe that. It's a header right into the middle, but it goes right into the corner. It's a terrific header as he runs over to Eddie Howe. It's a great header from Kaleri. I don't know who this guy is, never heard of him, but uh, you know, he's the guy who's gonna bury us in the first half here in the, the dying minute seconds of the first half. Uh, almost stoppage time. It's a great little dink and I'm not sure how Vestergaard loses that battle. I mean, he's behind the player, just poorly set up, but you know, it is what it is. We get one back quickly as the second half opens there. James Ward-Prowse, a low shot from outside of the box, and this must have fooled the keeper because I don't even think I was intending for that to happen. Uh, keeper having to get low and just couldn't get to it in, in time. That's number six on the year for JWP. Uh, again, moving forward, a cross in. Strong header from what looks like El Yunesi, yeah. Uh, but again, can't put it through. Charlie Austin gets a great through ball, makes the run, slows it down, makes a great pass over to Stuart Armstrong. Probably should have been better read by who I'm imagining to be Nathaniel Klein on the right side there, but we will take it as that ball just rolls across the front of the net. Not sure why the keeper didn't take, I guess the keeper was too far back. I'm not sure why the defense didn't read that better, but again, we'll take it. It looks a little better, I guess, than it actually was, but uh, Stuart Armstrong has become clutch for us, scoring some uh, some key goals as a sub. So this is a guy I want to keep around. He's not the paciest, but he seems to work in both a uh, central midfielder role and a left winger role, and I believe that's Jefferson Lerma here in the final few minutes, final 10 minutes of... Uh, the second half, putting in the tying goal for Bournemouth, and uh, wind, see you later, sails, because that was gutting, absolutely gutting for Southampton, gutting for me, because I really, I wanted a victory, it's been a real struggle, we got two goals, it's a, it looks like a bending goal, I don't know what that shot was, but it looked pretty good, because it was in the reach of the keeper, and then just suddenly out. We make a last minute desperation attempt here. James Ward-Prowse in the thick of things again. Charlie Austin also in the thick of things again, but just can't make anything happen, unfortunately. And look, I can't complain. Uh, we scored a couple of goals, so that's good. We know we can do it. I think the 4-2-3-1 is working better. James Ward-Prowse is getting into good positions. I like him either as an attacking midfielder or as a deep-lying midfielder because of his passing. I don't really like him as a winger just because of his pace. Uh, and, and you know what? We let in two goals, probably deservedly so, although I would argue the first one I, I should do better and avoid that. But look, this isn't the strongest defense. Uh, these things are going to happen. We had nine shots, four on target uh, to... Bournemouth 6-3 on target. We didn't have a lot of the possession, though. Um, and Charlie Austin getting a 9.4 rating. I think he had both... I think he had a goal and an assist? No, two assists, sorry. Armstrong and Ward-Prowse had the goals. Charlie Austin assisting on both of them. So he's great as a... That, that sort of uh, hold up, that number nine kind of deep-lying number nine who uh, comes in to get the ball, but... Again, this is a team that needs upgrades. Uh, I love Southampton. They've got a good squad in real life, but for FIFA purposes, I mean, they are lacking. Uh, Valeri certainly, I would say, I would argue underrated in the, in the match. So, uh, another two matches gone as we march towards the end of the season here. Uh, I believe we're on 36 matches, so we're going to be at match day 37. Uh, we got a training injury here to Hoiberg, gone for eight weeks, so see you later, end of the season. We lost, uh, we lost Hoiberg, and we just, we previously lost, uh, another central midfielder. I don't, not Lamina, but somebody else. Uh, so we're, we're getting screwed on that. Uh, 
but you know it makes the games exciting. We're going to be facing off against West Ham uh, in match day number 37. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I appreciate anybody sticking around and I hope the, the channel continues to grow. If you enjoy it, you have any comments, feedback, please leave them. Leave likes, subscribe, do all that fancy YouTube stuff and I will see you in the next episode because these ones are going to continue to come. Take care, guys.